hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be looking at how we can guess or determine the key for a wpa in a wi-fi network uh, this approach is also called a brute force method and we'll be using the fan tool on Kali linux so the tool we'll be using is this tool right here so to get to it go to your applications and then scroll to wireless and you should have it here so you can just Click on that to open it, and you might need a password. Now, the other thing you need, you need two different Wi-Fi networks. You need your Wi-Fi network where you have your Kali Linux machine connected to, and then you'll have the uh, target Wi-Fi network that you're trying to guess the key to, or that you're trying to brute force the key to. Now, this Kali Linux machine, let me plug in my wireless adapter here so I can connect to it. So I'll connect to the virtual machine. I'll click OK. I'll click OK. And let's see if it's going to connect. Meanwhile, let's look at the... Uh, so right now it's spinning like it's like it's connecting. And it did connect. And it's connected to uh, my guest network. You can check the IP address. And this is WLAN 0. I'm connected. Now, once I... I enable the tool. This should change to monitor mode. So right now it's uh, we do IW config. It's in managed mode, but once I enable the the tool here, it should change to this should change to monitor mode. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the next step. So the other thing we require is like a, a file that's gonna contain keys that you're trying to guess for that. Uh, WPA network. Now I've already created a, a file here. Let me do less. And I believe it's in my. And this is the file right here, PW list. Let me cut to it. And this is what I have. Now, normally, there is. You can have different word lists that come with the Kali Linux that you can use that have a long list of possible keys that are being used, common words and, and so on. So I just put a random number of uh, keys he here that I'm, I'm going to use. I already know the, the key to the target Wi-Fi network, and it's included here. The reason why I have a, a short list here is because I don't want it to take too long to search through the, a long list of uh, keys. Or passwords. With that done, the next step for us to do is to go back to the application here. And now we need to select the interface that we're going to be using for this. So right now we have it's saying no wireless interface was found. So we want to use our let's go do a refresh. And we'll be using WLAN 0. So we select it. And as you can see, it has changed WLAN 0 to monitor mode. So just click OK. And like I was saying earlier, if you do clear here and repeat that uh, IW config command, you see the mode has changed to monitor mode. And now it shouldn't have an IP. Let's open a new tab and let's do IP address. And it shouldn't have an IP, and it, uh, the name has changed to WLAN 0 mon. Okay, the next step is to scan for access points. Now, this is going to scan any access points within your range, within your Kali Linux machine's range, and then you'll have to select your target uh, access point. So mine is already, like I said, I have a mobile hotspot on a phone. So that's going to be my target access point. On my lab environment, I have a... Uh, mobile hotspot on a phone, and then I have a different phone that's connected to that mobile hotspot. Now let's go ahead and do the scan here. So right now it says it's active. And it's saying that 15 access points using WPA were detected. You go ahead and click on this button right here. And you should find your target access point on here. Mine is called Eno, and it's right here. 
And before you, you move forward, you need to browse to the file that has the keys, the list of keys. I already have it selected, uh, PW list. Once you have this selected and you have this selected, you can click on this right here, this button, which then should begin the process here, probing access point, the authentication, and handshake, and brute forcing encryption. And then it'll, if it finds the key, it's going to display it here. Let's go ahead and click on this. You have this one, your access point, that's your target selected click on this. And what it's saying is that there should be at least one device that's connected to that access point so that you can authenticate the device. And that's how it goes through the process of determining the key when the device is doing an handshake. So right now we are not showing any uh, device here. There's no MAC address. For any device so let's go ahead and let me go ahead and uh, try to reconnect my phone to that mobile hotspot okay now as you can see i have a device that's connected to this mobile hotspot this is its smart address let me re-browse back to the file and this is the file right here now we can try this again we have the target selected. We can click on this. And now, as you can see, it started the process here, probing access point. You're authenticating this device, which is got this MAC address. The next step is going to be uh, handshake status. So that was quick. It did the handshake, it captured the handshake. And then it did the brute forcing of uh, WPA, and then it finished. And this is WPA key right here. And you can click OK. So it found the key for us successfully. And that's the key I'm actually using on my mobile hotspot. So that was a success. What it does, we can close this. And here you can have, and here you can look at the key database. It's going to list the key here also. So if you double click on this, you'll see here the access point, which was our target, you know. The MAC address and then the encryption type, WPA, and the key that he found. If you wanted to delete this key from here, you can just select it and delete, save, and now the key is not there. So that's the process of uh, guessing the key. And like I said, you just have to have a long list of possible keys. And if somebody is using a, a weak key, there's, there's a chance that you can find the key by using the the keys you have listed in your uh, key list. All you have to do is you just have to have a long list of possible keys, and hopefully if somebody is using a weak key that's with, that you have within your your list of keys on your 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 file, you can determine that that key. It might take longer if you have a long list of keys. Now, one other thing I wanted to cover is. Once you run this tool, in some cases, you might find that you might get your, your network interfaces might get disabled. What you might need to do to re-enable them is uh, you can use a system CTL to uh, start or to stop and then start network manager. And then um, you can check your interfaces and in a case like this where your wireless interface is still in monitor mode so if we check it's in monitor mode now in case you wanted to put this back in into managed mode what you can do you can run sudo m on ng stop then this interface name right here wlan zero mon Put in your password, and then you can run IW config again, and it's back to managed mode. And it should have an IP. Now you have an IP on that interface. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's how we can try and guess uh, the keys on a Wi-Fi network. I hope this has been helpful. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.